Hey everyone, Wes here for Family Gamer TV and today we're going to be back in the toy box looking at the introduction to the toy box and carrying on where we left off a couple of days ago. Hopefully I'm a bit more familiar with the controls now. I've been playing a little bit of the playset, the Avengers playset with my son and having lots of fun with that. Uh, hopefully we'll bring you uh, some father and son toy box action uh, in the future. And uh, let's have a look in here. So, hopefully, introduction to the toy box has a save game, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if it saves the introduction to the way. I did try and save it. Um, we'll notice one of the little bugbears, at least on the Wii U version of Disney Infinity 2.0, are the load times. And uh, as I desperately try to fill the void of these load times with my inane ramblings, you'll notice quite how long they are. Or maybe you won't, because uh, I'm obviously such a fun time guy. Uh, but seriously, they're, they're a pain in the behind. Yes, um, I don't know why it's such an issue uh, on the Wii U. I'm assuming it's better on the PS4 and the Xbox One, or even Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Uh, I'd like to see them side by side to compare. Uh, but they really got to sort it out in a patch, because... Even my son notices, and for him to notice load times, that, that makes him pretty bad. You know, it kind of reminds me when I cast my mind back into the distant fog of time. Um, I'm trying to load Spectrum games. Who should we go? Should we go with a Marvel character, or should we go with a Disney character? Marvel character, Disney character. I'm going to start with a Disney character because somebody in the comments requested that I see if Syndrome could fly. Now I don't think he's going to be able to, but let's have a look. Let's play Syndrome from The Incredibles on to the Infinity Base. So uh, let's see, what this is what happens when I use a character from 1.0. The character has been used before by another player. Do you want to share ownership or play as a guest? We're going to share ownership because it was played by my son and of course we're going to share ownership. Now connected to your profile. So he's now in the toy box and he's now connected to my profile. Well, let's get this party started. So let's see what Syndrome can do. And first up, we should probably have a look at his skill tree. So you'll notice that uh, maybe it's a little bit different to the normal ones. But you still have some specials. Let's, uh, let's have a look at one of these. So this is uh, regenerating his shields, and then we've got increased intuition, and a counter-attack maneuver. And what do we got over here? We've also got the ability to increase damage. So no special moves per se, as you get with the Marvel superheroes, but you still have a whole skill tree to improve the abilities of these characters, which kind of upgrades your Disney Infinity 1.0 characters um, to bring them into the 2.0 world, which is kind of nice. Um, now, I don't know what happens if you go back with that character once you start upgrading him in 2.0. Does he still work on 1.0? Don't know. We'll have to try that out and let you know in a future video. Anyway, let's get on. What, what we got? What's his basic stuff? He's got a mid-air recovery, just cost of one, damage increase, ranged attack upgrade, and health boost. Well, we've, we've got some spare points, so... Let's purchase some of these. And what else we got? Power disc recharge upgrade. And a run speed. And I, we're just gonna I'm gonna get each one of these basic ones, I think. Boost them up a little bit. Oh, not that one. I go with that one. There we go. So there's a, a load of our skill points used. How much is this one up here? Two. Oh, just out of reach. We could buy another one, but I'm going to save that skill point. Okay, so there we have Syndrome. Now, what does he have in his locker? We can see he's running with the animation, very familiar from 1.0. I think we've got a, a slight upgrade in appearance. I think he looks better in this toy box than he did in the original. Uh, so, he's got uh, a punching attack with combos there. And then he dashes forward to hit enemies. Now, normally, 
B would be the flight button if he could fly. And at the moment, he just has a double jump, as you can see. What else have we got here? He can defend and dodge. You can see his dodge there. So, the, the, you know, kind of, kind of flight basic moves. But he can't actually fly like Iron Man or Thor or any of those other cool Marvel characters, which is a shame. But never mind. So that's, uh, that's what Syndrome looks like. Travel to Disney's Hall of Heroes. No, we won't do that right this moment. Let's have a look at what other cool missions we've got from our friends. So we had the, the car mission over here. We've got a different one here. So what's this one? He's an expert that comes to creating toy box homes. So yeah, this is like all about something. creating toy Tony, box homes. Go take a look. Now some of the audio was breaking up a bit for me there. I don't know whether that came through at your end. Apologies if it did. Can be used to purchase let's toys. go and have a look at what toy box homes are all about. This is it. The door to your very own toy box interior. Okay. Just follow the butler through this Definitely having some audio issues, look. at least uh, in my headphones here. Uh, I'm hoping that's not coming through for you. And you bonus toy. So this is all about toy box interiors, which is a new feature for Disney Infinity 2.0. So let's have a play around inside. So, I can hear some very, very dodgy music, interior. Disney Infinity music, There's fading in and right out now, uh, with a judder, which is nice plans, in my ears. Hallways, decorate with furniture, posters, and awards. The opportunities are endless. So, it's pretty cool that we now have the ability to create our own pad. You know, got a bachelor pad, party house, however you want to design it. It's at your fingertips now. Oops. The butler will tell you Didn't mean you to, to uh, take the butler interior. out. So, we get to customize the walls, get to put posters up, get to put furniture in. Use the magic loads of stuff. To change the look of the walls, the trim, or the floors to make your interior feel like home. Open the packs and tools menu to aim the magic wand at the walls to select them for customization. Okay, so let's find a wall that I'd like to customize. I'm gonna go with that wall right then there. Then select the customization you want to apply. Uh, so, I have on my gamepad a variety of options here. So a variety of Disney Infinity walls. You can't see these, we've got Tomorrowland walls, we've got Disney Infinity walls, we've got Fantasyland walls. I'm gonna go with Tomorrowland walls. And there you can see, so that's what the Tomorrowland walls look like. Pretty futuristic. And then we can go with Fantasyland walls. Which look much more like a traditional castle. I'm actually going to stick with the Fantasyland walls, I think. Uh, you can actually theme the whole thing very easily from this gamepad. And it uh, doesn't seem to be doing much. Oh, that's because it's done all my walls already. So you can also quickly access the ability to customize your trim so if you see there i've got now i've got a, a darker wood trim you can customize the floor we could give it a futuristic floor to make it something uh, out of an episode of star trek there we go little metal floor with the uh, stone walls not quite sure it goes we can uh, customize what else we got we can customize the lobby entrance. Oh, some some things aren't allowing me to select. So you do appear to be able to select light fixtures and lobby entrances, but I guess they need to belong on that wall in the first place. So we're gonna apply our customization. Oh, let me go. I'm gonna have the stone. I'm gonna fantasy land everything. Why not? And then we'll come out of that. Choice. That looks much My uh, interior is looking nice your already. To be whatever inspires your imagination, create themed rooms or mix things up. It's all up to you. I am incredible. 
Yes, you are, Syndrome. Uh, so there we've got a nice log fire now. And we've got a little uh, Disney-themed poster there with Rapunzel. We've got interior, one of the Incredibles on there, Mr. Incredible. So we need to talk to the butler to get a bit more done. So he likes my walls. We need some furniture. Place some furniture in your interior to make it feel more like home. There's some nice little bits of furniture in it's there. It's your turn. Go ahead and add some furniture. Select the furniture you'd like but to place. But let's see what I can add. So I've got floor lamps. I've got potted ferns. I've got a green chair. And they're all my options. All three furniture. options. Wonderful. I think I'm going to go with the green chair. Now, I'm going to move this around. Where am I going to put that green chair? Ah, uh, place the furniture you've selected. I want it over here in the corner, I think. But I need to rotate that. Uh, so, oh, didn't want to go into that mode. Come back out of that mode. Rotate any piece of Come furniture. Back out of that mode. Okay. Right, there's my furniture. I want to place it over here but I need to rotate it. So, I use ZR to rotate it. There we go. <clears throat> Just where I want it. Exit I'll the place toy box that. Editor when you're done. And I don't, well, maybe, maybe we can squeeze one in over here as well. Let me slot that just there at the bottom of the stairs. Can't have too many chairs, can you? Like the soft furnishings. Okay, nice and then work. pop out the editor. Your interior is really coming along. There are hundreds of furniture pieces that I can be placed so. in your interior to give it your own unique style and make it feel more like home. Huzzah! Ticker tape. Everybody loves a bit of ticker tape. So, oh, I've got some additional stuff to decorate. What else is he going to teach me? Come back. Come back. Oh, let's add a room. You that sounds good. Let's make your this place bigger. When you add a room, be sure to connect it to a doorway so you can get in and out. Add a new room to your interior by attaching it to this door. With a wide variety of room and hallway options to choose from, the layout combinations for your interior are endless. Place a room in the highlighted area. To add a room, Open the toy box editor. Choose the room you want to add. So we'll let us edit this rooms and place and the room exactly where it wants it. To doorways before the doors can there we be go. Opened. So you're going to connect Exit these the to the doorways, as the narrator done. says. And we can keep going. We can build some more. Can we? Oh, no, it's not going to let us build anymore. Just the one room for now. I'm interested to see to if the exteriors match the interiors. Any way you want. There we go. Now, should we go and explore? Why not? Look at this. Lovely new room. With another door. Brilliant. Now, what's that going to be? Is that going to be a games room, perhaps? Maybe a bedroom. Maybe a study. Maybe a library. We can invite some guests invite some over guests to your interior to liven things up. Select the guest gatherer from the toy box. Editor. So, let's see what guests we have at our disposal. A guest gatherer. Okay. Let's add one of these and uh, Exit the toy box see what it does. When you're done. Nice work. Your interior is really coming along. Placing this toy in your interior will attract guests. In fact, here come your first guests now. As you build and expand your interior, you'll have room for more guests. Only the guests you've unlocked can visit your interior. So make sure you unlock them all. Oh, we got a little Sully. Your interior He's is so really coming cute. along. Keep building and decorating, and don't forget to help your guests. Oh, I'm not sure who that is hiding there. Who else have we got? 
We got the old man from up again. Very adorable. Ah. Oh, look at little Sully. Oh, -ho! that is that is just totally adorable. I'm not trying to hit you. Sorry, Sully. I pick you up. I oh, look. I got my own little cuddly Sully. You've earned an award. Anyway, award. that's enough of me uh, fawning. Be placed in your interior to display your achievements. You'll earn awards as you complete feats throughout Disney Infinity. Cool. So let me open. What have I got? I have some trophies. Return Fantastic. Your interior frequently. Oh, I look, Scrooge McDuck. You've unlocked since your last visit. One of the cars. And who's this over here? Oh, a mater. <laughs> oh, these little fellas are pretty cute. Some of your guests need your help. Say. And they might give they you a reward. They should release a toy line of those. Oh. Oh. <laughs> right, so. Let's see if we can help Scrooge McDuck. Special edition, I have a new mission. Add two rooms. Okay, we can do that. Add two hallways. Right. Let's see what we can do here. So, I want to add some rooms. To find out what you can do in your interior, or how to do it, just talk to your butler. After all, that's why he's here. I want to add some rooms. There we go. So, let's add a room. How do I add a room? Oh, we see, it was straightforward when he was telling me how to do it. Now I haven't got a clue. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. No. Ah. No. Oh, I need to bring that room back now. No, I don't want to add people. Ah, rooms. Here we go. Right. There we go. If I can add. I'm going to add a little room up the top there. No, am I? Is it going to let me? Oh, where am I? Let's spin this around. There we go. I'll add a little room there. And then I'm going to have a. a is that a hallway? I'm going to add a hallway. No, 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 no. I want to add a room. Place that. No. Oh, it's because I've got the doorway the wrong way. What the wrong way round? No, I don't want to be spark mode. I want to rotate that. There we go. That's better. Bingo. Okay, I feel like I know, starting to know what I'm doing now. So I want a hallway. Don't want it off the front door though. Let's put a hallway around here. Some guests so we'll have switch to a hallway. Requests. If you can help them, they'll reward you. Line that up. Bingo. Now I'm gonna have another room. Let's do something a bit funkier this time. Don't have a lot of choices, but this one's a little bit more interesting shape. Let's put that up here. There's a door, so we can link the doors up. There we go, and it kind of stickies together. Put that one in place. And I want another hallway, I think. So let's go with a short hall. I need to rotate that. go snap that in place I'm sure as I play more toy box I will get more accustomed to the controls but I have completed my mission bingo so let's finish that off 
with another room. Not a long haul, I want a room. There we go. And I'm going to rotate that. No, not that one. There we go. Rotate that one like that. Snap that in there. There we go. And then I should be able to drop back in and go and explore. You've unlocked the door to the Hall of Heroes. This door will remain in your interior, so you can easily visit the Hall of Heroes at any time to check your overall progress. Well, we'll dip into the Hall of Heroes another time. But let's go and have an explore in the rooms I've just built. There we go. Uh, okay, so that's the small one that I added on. Or is it, actually? Oh, I thought there was... Ah, oh, there it is. That's the other room. There we go. Loads of space for all my guests now. Fantastic. Okay. What else have we got in here? I think that's just about it. But let's double check. Is everything unveiled? I think it is. It's this door. And that takes me back to my toy box. So let's go back to the toy box. And this might take some time. And I think we will wrap things up there for today. So that's a quick look at the toy box interiors that you can now build. So you can deck out your own rooms, your own home. There's obviously a wide range of collectibles that you can pick up, toys to decorate those rooms. Uh, lots of Marvel superhero themed toys as well. Uh, check out one of our previous videos on uh, Family Gamer TV where we have a look at some of the interiors uh, in some of the trailers they showed off uh, with some of the cool Marvel themed items that you can get. And of course, come back for more. We're going to have some more toy box exploring new areas and trying to build some stuff. Maybe put some games together with my son. Of course, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think about the interiors. What would you like to build? What would your interior look like? But let's have one more thing before we go. Why not? Let's have a look at another Disney character just before we leave. So this time, we're going to put... Rapunzel on the Infinity Base. Let's have a look what this she is looks the like. Infinity figure is now connected to your profile. Now I hope you're ready for another adventure. Because so there we got Rapunzel from Tangled. Looking pretty cool. Loving the hair. Lots of flowers in the hair. Again, I think the character model is ever so slightly upgraded. So there she's got her combo attack. Missions and challenges. You'll get a special reward. She can double jump. And she can do evasive cartwheels. And she can also throw that frying pan. So you got to watch out. Those ranged attacks, she'll do some serious damage. You can zoom in and target those. We're going to throw them. Let's... Oh, go on. Why not? There we go. ba -ching! Oh, it's mean, but you can have a lot of fun. So, there we go. That's Rapunzel. We'll have a quick look at her skill tree, too, while we're here. And we've got... Again, it's very basic on these 1.0 characters. Increasing damage and speed and jumping and all, all those kind of things. Defense. The, uh, the major powers aren't exactly... Um, fancy new powers with animations they're just extreme upgrades to the this the particular path you've chosen so we will dip into 1.0 at some point and i'll give get you confirmation on whether these characters once upgraded for 2.0 are still usable in 1.0 hopefully they are would be a bit silly not to but stay tuned for more of our disney infinity 2.0 videos on family gamer tv hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of those and we'll be back next time with more from Disney Infinity 2.0.